good boy. <laughs> I know, I wanted to catch you both on it. Everybody's been, Al's been telling me every time he goes out, both the boys are on the wheel. But T, all he does when he sees us is jumps off, and now Brixton's doing it too. You boys! They just, they want to play so bad with us that they only go on the wheel now when I'm either not watching them. I just gave them a little snack, everybody, in case you're wondering, which I know a lot of you were wondering. Let me come in here and maybe it'll make it a little better that they won't. Um, all right, boys, watch out. I won't let me kill myself. Um, anyway, uh, they I gave them a snack of sardines and pumpkin because remember I told you guys I was thinking of letting them go on the wheel, boys. I was letting them... Uh, I know, now all we want is loving because you're getting spoiled rotten and they're getting too much loving. Um, anyway, look at look at this eyeliner on, on Brixton. I love it so much. You can see that he's getting like those beautiful little clown tears right under his eye, which I just think is the prettiest thing I ever see. Um, and this guy's just a handsome stud muffin like his dad. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm wanting here, boys, come on over on your wheel. Um, but anyway, uh, they're... My, uh, yeah, so I'm phasing them out, I think, up two meals a day, but I'll just give them a midday snack. And then I'm going to take them for a car ride to, to grocery outlet or something, right, guys? So I can get some of my shishito peppers, but also because I'm just loving uh, doing all this extra stuff with them now that it's down to the two of them, and it'll only make it better for when they go to their fabulous forever homes. You're going with Sean and Clarice, and you're going to go with somebody, only a perfect person. Well, you know, perfect people, but, oh, there you go. But, oh, yeah, good boy. There he goes. A wonderful person. There he goes. Good boy, T. And look at him watch me, too. Good boy, T. And, oh, little chunk monks get on there, too. Yes, T doesn't need the, the calorie burn as much, but, uh, good boy. Yes. Get on there with him, Cousins. Or Cousins. I still call him Cousy once in a while. Brixie, get on there with him. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, get on there, little tea man. Get on there, bricks. Good boy. But uh, anyway, yeah, so um, I'm still trying to get my sweet co worker to come over because I know if she saw you, and again, I can't have every single variable, so um, there's another really wonderful person I'm wondering about. There's that great family in North Carolina. And then my other really sweet friend in North Carolina that I didn't even actually think of kind of was asking me to. And the thing that's so important is they're all, the people I'm thinking of right now are incredibly loving homes. So it just has to be somebody that will also be a show home because I just think this guy is going to be the best of Asher and Daisy. And look at him. <laughs> right now he's going to take a nap though. And uh, I think, and the same with my Brixton, I tell Sean and Clarice, and it's no kidding about it, that the little girl, she was really essentially the very pick of my litter, which Lexi will attest to, of the girls the last time. And then Doreen actually was tied with her, to be honest. The two of them were tied, but I knew Finchley would do extraordinarily well in the show ring, but those guys never planned to show. Then they honored me by saying they were gonna go ahead and show, and everything just kind of went south because we had so much going on. It never quite worked. So that's why Sean said I could pester him and we'll show this guy maybe after he turns two, maybe when he's about two and a half when Sean officially retires. That's our plan. Because again, they're getting, they're one of the reasons, people by the way were asking, why did you hold, um, or who's left over? I had a couple of inquiries like that, which I might add, I didn't even barely respond to because it's like, no one's left over. I match all the puppies to their homes, but knowing today's market was you know terrible and that i would never compromise on price because i always want to charge more like i say because of what i know the quality is worth but so i held on to my two strongest dogs to some degree a little brixton because i knew how flashly marked and everybody liked him and this guy because i knew he was going to be or my hope was he was going to be a small but exquisite package and so far even everything from the ears to the tail it's all looking that way but then what I didn't really know they're all amazing in their temperaments but these two boys have been such a joy to have back because they're just um to not back but to have with me and to be alone with because they're both so go along and they love each other and uh, that's why it would be kind of ideal to play some little tiger if he is going to leave here. 
which is getting less likely all the time, but just so not smart to keep six dogs. And you guys know that if you see how we live with our dogs. It just, even last night we were watching a movie and they're all on the couch with us, every single dog, even these guys. And it was like, this just isn't, you can't really live normally like that. It's already all about the dogs and it's five of them. Um, but, uh, so I don't think six would be good. But uh, the, this little guy, a couple of the people I'm actually going to be talking to do have already males, and that wouldn't even worry me with this guy because I would keep him in a heartbeat. A lot of my bulldog friends have told me how many unneutered males they keep too, and it's true. I did at one point uh, have that as well, and I wouldn't worry at all about uh, that with this guy because uh, he's so go along um so anyway especially when you're talking about a different breed Neut unneutered stafford brothers no but i would even keep him with his dad and his um his dad easy a dad and son because asher's pretty mellow too and the boys get along well they do it's probably true that the girls are more difficult to think about anyway what the heck was I telling you guys? Oh, yeah, they've been just so fun. So they cuddle up and everything, and it's just so nice, isn't it, Brixie? You're a little chow hound, though. You love the groceries. I've been given little tea, some extra high-calorie uh, food snacks that we made called the Satin Balls, which he loves, but also so does, uh, so does Brixie. And uh, as you can see, tea is really chunking up. He's just like Daisy, though. He's going to be a shorter-backed, smaller dog than everybody because the truth is Brixton's pretty small. He's not big by any means. This whole group other than Bigazi was smaller than our average puppies and our average puppies from all of Willows have been a beautiful size. None of them have been big old tanks. Uh, so I'm really liking the fact that these are going to be smaller. Again, it doesn't, it just I do like, I don't care about the height and weight of the standard. I mean it. I just want a dog that looks small and powerful for their size. But that said, I love a small little dog that's lower to the ground. Um, so I'm happy to get it there. You can see that face now of our Brixie. Oh, you're so handsome. Look at it. So when, when Sean retires, that'll be his first hobby. Is He'll meet me at the shows and we'll get through a fast championship like Ivan. Maybe we can try to beat Ivan's record. Oh got the music happening. I'll turn this off now. <laughs>